Hey guys, it's Ross Scott and on the Space Couch. Today I'm going to be reviewing this, The Glass Books of the Dream Meters by G.W. Dalkus. I have mentioned this book previously, not just in the video of the art covers the other day, but as one of the modern classics of sci-fi and fantasy a couple of years ago. It is absolutely fantastic. I love this book. So it revolves around three different characters. Um, Miss Temple, um, Cardinal Chang and Dr. Svensson. And... These three, they all basically um, stumble across a vast conspiracy to seize control and dominate everyone and everything. Not just in England and the Dr. Spencer's native Germany, but eventually across the whole world. So basically, um, Miss Temple, she is uh, dumped by her fiancé, who is an assistant to the Deputy Minister of the Foreign Ministry. And um, she wants to find out what's, why, you know, where's this just suddenly come from out of nowhere? So she follows him uh, one day, takes a train to this country house in the in the middle of nowhere and where there's one of those like, vast masquerade balls going on, but other stuff is going on as well. And there's this um, process that some of these uh, characters at the house are undergoing that basically it's like a form of mind control. And um, the cardinal is at the house because he was um, contracted to kill um, a colonel in the Dragoons by his underlings. Um, but when he gets there, the guy's already dead and he doesn't know who's killed him. And Dr. Svensson's there because he is basically the chaperone to the Crown Prince of Mecklenburg, which is a German state. And he just keeps disappearing. So he's always like trying to find him and stop him from getting into trouble. Loads of stuff happens, murders, deaths. They're all on the run. And um, it's some time before the three of them actually meet up and become allies. The chapters are divided into viewpoint characters and Chan gets three, Svensson gets three and Miss Temple gets four, including the first and the last chapters. But they only meet up about three or four chapters in. But they've like seen each other, like she sees Cardinal Chan on the train when she's fleeing back from the, um, the country house after having almost been murdered and raped and having to kill people to escape. And um, she sees him on the train, but then she doesn't see him until they all meet up separately. And he has seen Svensson um, at that house also when he's been trying to um, get his crown prince back from the depths, uh, the grasps of um, the people who are involved in the process. But this got such great characters in this. Those three are great. But like the main protagonists are uh, the um, the enemies is the Contessa de la Cour Sforza, and she's just awesome, you know. It's just like it's like a mix of I don't know, like um, Alexis Colby from Dynasty, Cersei from Game of Thrones, and a bunch of others like that, you know. Um, she's a murderous, dangerous woman. You don't want to cross her, and she's very, very sexual and alluring as well. And there's a Comte de Orcans, and he's the one who has designed this process um, to convert people to following their orders. So they're just trying to like find out about the conspiracy, put a stop to it. But it's like one of those Victorian novels. I mean, it says on here that it's like a mix between Dickens, Sherlock Holmes and H. Rider Haggard. And it really is. Every chapter has got a cliffhanger. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't recommend it highly enough. And it's thoroughly satisfying as well. All the twists and turns it takes. There's loads that I had forgotten when I was reading this. And loads that I remembered as well. But yeah, this is book. I was hooked from like the first paragraph when I started reading it. Um, so I finished this yesterday and I started straight on to the second one, The Dark Volume. Which, from what I remember at the time, and it came out in 2008, this came out in 2006. When I read that one then... It felt like it was lagging compared to this one. But rereading it, and I've read the first chapter now, it's much better than I remember. So I'm hopeful that I will enjoy that just as much as this one. But yeah, this is great. It's such a rollicking adventure, you know? It's like a ripping yarn, it really is. Great world building, great characters, and they stick with you, they really do. But yeah, fantastic book. The Glass Book, oh, I've got over here, The Glass Books of the Dream Eaters by G.W. Dalkus. I can't recommend it highly enough. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for upcoming topics you'd like to see discussed. Or like the video.